Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you do, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word of encouragement is, God said I will take you deeper into my word. Be ready to listen to me as I speak to you. God is getting ready to talk to everyone deep. It's time for you to really start reading your Bible. It's time for you to really start listening to God because he's getting ready to pour into everyone. And I want to say to everyone, start taking God serious. If you're not taking God serious, then you need to pray on it and say, Lord, help me to be serious with your word. Do not play with God at all. You know, a lot of Christians have played with God and they had died or, you know, they have been sick and they can't get out the hospital or things in their life have happened. Do not play with God. He is not a man that you need to be playing with and don't play with him at all. I want to read Jeremiah 33 and 3, and it reads, Call to me, and I will answer you, and will tell you great and hiding things that you not know. God is getting ready to speak to you. When you, in your prayer position, and when you're in your prayer closet, God will do some things in you that you have never seen before. I remember when I was seeking the Lord and I was crying out to God. I was in my room. I cried out to him. A lot of things have been revealed to me while I was seeking the Lord. He allowed me to see things. I'm going to tell y'all something. When you really give God your full attention and you really focus on your calling and you focus on the things that God has set for you, a lot of things in your life will open. A lot of things that you have seen about people is going to be revealed. I don't care if it's, if it's your ex, your parents, if it's somebody close to you, God will reveal the truth to you. These people hiding secrets, these people lying to you, taking money from you, and you don't know nothing. But when you pray, God will reveal the truth to you and let you know who's with you and who's against you. That's why you got to stop allowing people to bring foolishness and all of this stuff to you. And stop allowing people to tell you all this stuff that they got going on. You worry about yourself and you take care of your own business. I got my own problems to deal with. I cannot carry your problems. I cannot carry all your business. And that's why God said, come to us. He said, come to him. And it's okay to come to other people, you know, but come to him. He wants you to come to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. He wants you to come to him. God is all. And he can work it out for you. You need to go to God. Stop running to your mother. Stop running to your brother, your sisters. Go to God. Go to him, the Holy Spirit. He will remove everything that you're going through. Some of you got sickness. Some of you got some things that you're dealing with. You have never told nobody, never shared it with somebody. I don't care what you're going through in your secret. Whatever it is, give it to God. Give it to God. We all have secrets. And I'm just being honest with you. We all have secrets. We all have things that we did in our life. Does not mean that you give up. Whatever you have did, you give it to God and you pray it out. Stop running. Stop running. Stop running. And stop being scared. Yes, you did some things in your life, but guess what? When you admit and you be honest what you have did, God will forgive you. But by you running and escaping and hiding it, that's not going nowhere. You got to learn how to give that stuff to God. Whatever is in your chest, whatever is deeper in you, you need to pour that stuff out and say, Lord, release me right now. Lord, fix me right now. Whatever I'm holding on to, I need you to help me to get this stuff out of me because it's holding on to me too much and I need to let it go. Some of you holding on to a lot of things in your life since you was a little kid. Okay, you've been abused, you've been raped. A lot of things happened to you in your past. And you still holding on to it. So it messed you up in your adult age. I see a woman right now. Something happened to you when you was a little girl. You was raped. And sometimes when your husband is trying to make love to you, sometimes you don't want to be touched. Let me tell you this. You need to pray. Pray over your body. Listen to me. I'm talking to a woman. Pray over your body and say, Lord, heal my body from the scars, 
from the things that have happened to me. That's why it's important, y'all. Listen to me. That's why it's important. Before you get married, you got to make sure you bring your problems to God. Some of you already married and you can't even make love to your husband because of the things that happened to you when you was young. You got to give this stuff to God. God, let all of this stuff come out of me. You got to give this stuff to God. I'm telling you, that's why you can't move forward. Because of the things that happened to you, when you was a little girl, you was right. Things happened to you. You got to give this stuff to God so he can take this stuff out of you before you get buried. Before anyone get married, you need to pray. You need to pray. And say, Lord, whatever's in me, take it out. So when I say I do, when I walk down this aisle, I don't want nothing on me. I don't want nothing to bother me. I don't want nobody to call me. I don't want nobody to text me. I don't want nobody to say nothing on my name. Because I'm clear. Because you said I'm clear. I'm free because you said I'm free. I'm well because you said I'm well. Stop walking into your next season with burdens. Stop walking into your next season with things that you, you have done to people or things that people had done to you. This is a season where you need to be free. This is a season where you need to be clean. Listen to me. You a woman. You can't even make love to your husband because you thinking about the things that that person did to you. That person abused you when you was young. And let me tell you this. That's why you got to get free. You got to get free from this. The only way you can get free from this, you got to pray over your body. And you got to ask God to remove any hurt, any bruises, anything that was on you or against you. Those wounds that you got in you is still broken. You got to pray. Hallelujah. You got to pray over yourself and say, Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, touch my body. Lord, touch my mind. Lord, touch my hands. Lord, touch my, my whole, my whole intestines because you need God to free you. You need God to free you. Sometimes when you look at yourself in the mirror naked, sometimes you feel ugly. Sometimes you feel uncomfortable. Sometimes you don't know who you are because you feel those scars where he did to you, where he bruised you up. Give that stuff to God. Only God can fix you. Ain't no counselor can help you. Counselors going to say whatever they want to say to you. I'm telling you the truth. The real counselor, the real doctor that you need to go to is God. Running to all these psychiatrists and all this stuff. Listen, these people writing stuff down and give you medication. God will give you the medication that you need and it's free. He giving you information, what you need to do. What you need to do is seek me. God is telling all of us to seek him. And we don't even want to seek him because we still stuck in our own ignorant ways. When God says seek him, seek him. Don't ask God no questions. Do what he said to do and obey him. But you are a woman and you are watching me. Let me tell you this. For the man. Listen to your wives when they talk to you. When they tell you that they went through things, you need to listen. You need to pay attention. When she's telling you stuff, you need to pay attention. That's why she's not making love to you because she was abused when she was young. And some of these men, they go through things too. They go through a lot. Sometimes they have life crisis. They don't know who they are. So understand your man, understand your woman. All I'm saying is spend time with each other in your prayer, your fasting, and ask God to work on you both. You both need help. You both need healing. You both need to be free. So I just want to say, you know, continue to be encouraged. Put God first in your marriage and understand that God will work everything out for you both. And I just want to say, continue to pray. Put God first and start reading your Bible together because the devil is trying to destroy your marriage. And I want you to know that you both going to make it. You're going to make it. You continue to stand on the word of God. Don't worry about what the devil said because the devil is here to steal, kill, and destroy. Remember, God brought you both this far for a reason. You still married for a reason. I see the number four. You've been married for four years. And I want you to know that God will make a way for you. And you got to learn how to ignore ignorant. What family members say, what friends say, you got to work on you. Some of them had laughed because they like, oh my goodness, when's she going to carry his baby? When's she going to do this for him? Don't let people's words get to you. God know the time and God know what he want to do. 
So don't let nobody stop you. I love you. Be encouraged. Stay prayed up and do not give up. And remember, God timing is the best. If God did it for Sir, he would do it for you. If God did it for Hannah, he would do it for you. Ain't nothing too hard for God. Be encouraged. I love you all. Keep your head up. Be strong. And remember, God will change your story if you allow him in your heart. It's very important that we give God our all in spite of whatever we're going through. Give it to God. He will work it out for you. Don't give up. Stay blessed. Thank you for watching.